unable to reach orbital velocity required. A scathing comment from Elon Musk aimed at Blue Origin's latest venture has left Jeff Bezos in a state of deep embarrassment. The situation becomes even more dire when one considers Bezos's previous commitment to facilitating the travel of millions of people to space for work purposes. Perhaps he should have pursued the goal of sending 100 millionaires on a journey to space instead. That would have been potentially effective. Musk would likely hold it in higher regard than he currently does, seeing Blue Origin's prospects as a legitimate competitor to their vehicle, rather than simply dismissing it with a laugh. Let's talk more in today's episode of NR Studio. We explore the reasons behind Musk's perception of Blue Origin's new Shepard as little more than a mere space tourism trinket. If your intentions are to lean toward mere overview, your rocket may indeed be somewhat shortened in length. This was Musk's witty response when renowned journalist Kara Swisher asked about the technical reasons for New Shepard's smooth contours during the 2021 Code Conference. His remarks drew a chuckle from the audience. It cleverly highlighted the technological differences between Blue Origins and SpaceX spacecraft. While the impressive Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy easily achieve orbital insertion, New Shepard presents itself as a uniquely designed mid-sized spacecraft limited to suborbital missions. It seems that Elon Musk subscribes to the philosophy that bigger is better, especially when it comes to rocket technology. For him, the pursuit of reaching orbit is paramount. It goes beyond just a quick trip to the fringes of space for a brief moment of weightlessness. In this case, his perspective is technically valid. Suborbital rockets do not require the same altitude or power as orbital rockets, since they do not require large fuel tanks. Unlike SpaceX Falcon 9 or Starship, this statement is based on the premise that the rocket can be more compact. Musk subtly hints at the rocket's masculine contours, implying that Blue Origin intentionally designed it that way to attract attention. Of course, its duration is shortened since it only involves suborbital flights. Musk's beliefs are summed up succinctly in a few cleverly worded statements. While it was a humorous incident, the humor also highlighted the ongoing rivalry between the two billionaires one leading a company that has successfully launched more than 60 astronauts to the ISS, while the other, despite having founded his venture two years earlier, is still mired in the realm of suborbital space tourism. It was only earlier this year that Blue Origin successfully completed the first orbital launch of New Glenn, nearly four years after the first suborbital flight carrying passengers on New Shepard. But on this occasion, there was an unexpected development. After the first launch of New Glenn, Musk's perspective on Blue Origin underwent a significant transformation. He cloaked his criticism in sarcasm, but ultimately gave the company genuine praise. Congratulations to Jeff Bezos and the Blue Origin team for their commendable achievement, he shared in a post on the X platform. It was an unusual instance of authentic respect exchanged between two enduring adversaries. Nonetheless, beneath Musk's commendation lay a more profound significance. A genuinely robust company does not require the subjugation of its less formidable competitors to demonstrate its value. Demonstrating respect for a rival who is facing challenges signifies genuine confidence, an assurance that transcends trivial competition. That exemplifies a sustainable organization, one that demonstrates both technological prowess and a firm commitment to its values. Nonetheless, numerous observers perceive Musk's demeanor as an unwarranted display of humility particularly in light of the intense competition between SpaceX and Blue Origin. In 2021, following NASA announcement of a $2.9 billion contract awarded to SpaceX for the development of a lunar lander, Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin vocally opposed the outcome. Instead, they submitted a comprehensive 50-page objection to the Government Accountability Office, contesting NASA decision. This decision follows SpaceX triumph over Blue Origin and Dynetics, Securing its position as the exclusive recipient of the contract, it unmistakably revealed Blue Origin's envy and their reluctance to acknowledge the results. NASA decision was not motivated by favoritism. The decision was grounded in well-defined principles and the established track record of SpaceX. Today, it is increasingly apparent. The accomplishments of Blue Origin remain overshadowed by the swift advancements achieved by its rivals. Certainly, while humorous quips regarding the shapes of rockets may elicit laughter, beneath the surface exists a profound competition, a race to establish leadership in the dawn of a new space age. The distinction becomes markedly apparent when one juxtaposes their two flagship vehicles, Blue Origin's New Shepard and SpaceX Crew Dragon. 
To begin with, Blue Origin's latest spacecraft, New Shepard, is engineered to facilitate a swift 11-minute journey to space. Following a vertical launch, the capsule requires merely two minutes to accelerate and traverse the Kármán line. The demarcation of outer space situated approximately 100 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Subsequently, passengers engage in a four-minute period of weightlessness, reveling in breathtaking vistas of Earth through an expansive window prior to the capsule's secure descent via parachute. It is ideally suited for individuals seeking a succinct experience of space with minimal training prerequisites. However, in comparison to SpaceX Crew Dragon, New Shepard increasingly resembles a mere toy. The Crew Dragon spacecraft is engineered specifically for authentic space missions. It has the capability to remain in orbit for several days or potentially even weeks. It serves the dual purpose of ferrying astronauts to the International Space Station, transporting cargo, and facilitating scientific research endeavors. In contrast to the limited experience of the new Shepard, Crew Dragon offers astronauts the invaluable opportunity to both inhabit and conduct their work in the realm of space. Boasting a contemporary aesthetic, cutting-edge automated systems, and reusable technology, Crew Dragon represents a transformative advancement, drastically lowering the expenses associated with space exploration. A seat aboard the Crew Dragon is priced at approximately $55 million, a figure made feasible by the spacecraft's reusability and the capabilities of the Falcon 9 rocket. SpaceX may potentially reduce this cost in the future, particularly with an increase in passenger volume or enhancements in operational efficiencies. Some experts anticipate that the cost could drop to between $10 and $12 million, which is more in line with the estimated cost of a Starship launch. In contrast, a seat on a Soyuz spacecraft is priced between $86 and $90 million, with little hope of a significant price reduction in the foreseeable future. Although Russia has committed to offering a 30% discount in an effort to compete with SpaceX, uncertainty remains about the actual implementation of this promise. It is not surprising that NASA would prefer a new company like SpaceX, which has developed a spacecraft capable of outperforming its Russian competitors. However, one must consider Blue Origin's vehicle, New Shepard, which is specifically designed for suborbital travel and has a more user-friendly heat shield, unlike SpaceX Dragon. Given its significantly reduced re-entry velocity, estimated at between 6,600 and 8,000 miles per hour, a stark contrast to Dragon's 16,800 miles per hour, the thermal conditions generated during re-entry are also reduced, ranging from about 1,100 to 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit. This makes it quite capable of keeping the crew capsule afloat during its short expedition. The capsule is constructed of aluminum alloy and composite materials, featuring a white exterior coating that not only reflects heat, but also enhances its visual appeal. Some have suggested that New Shepard appears more robust than Crew Dragon because its exterior remains pristine after landing. However, this perception is an illusion. The underlying explanation is much simpler. New Shepard re-enters at a greatly reduced velocity, minimizing heat generation and preventing surface burns. The lightweight capsule traveling at speeds of around 6,600 to 8,000 miles per hour is subject to far less pressure than Dragon's steep descent, which exceeds 16,800 miles per hour. There's not much that's impressive about maintaining a shiny appearance when you're barely interacting with the atmosphere. In contrast, the Crew Dragon spacecraft is designed for a purely operational mission in low Earth orbit, which is located about 00, 0 kilometers above the Earth's surface. In the realm of survivability, its dynamics change significantly. Protected by a Pika-X heat shield, engineered to withstand extreme temperatures of up to 1,927 degrees Celsius during re-entry. Sure, the craft may return with black scorch marks, but that's the intended outcome. These marks serve as proof that the heat shield effectively absorbed the heat load, ensuring the safety of the astronauts aboard. Every aspect of Crew Dragon, from its strong aluminum alloy structure to its Super Draco escape engines, was meticulously designed to ensure reliability under the most extreme conditions. This underscores NASA confidence in the system, which uses it not only for astronauts, but also for critical scientific payloads. After taking a step back to evaluate the two designs, the differences become clearer. 
New Shepard is a fast space launch vehicle offering short, expansive window journeys, an exhilarating experience, and sleek simplicity. Crew Dragon is an authentic spacecraft, robust, multifaceted, engineered for resilience, and designed for substantive operations in the space realm. Its design prioritizes functionality over luxury, with a focus on ensuring your safe transportation and timely arrival at your destination. Space travel is essentially about the fun and immersion of experiencing something completely new. As a result, New Shepard passengers will only need a few days of basic training, focusing on the essentials. After investing about $300,000 for their tickets, New Shepard passengers will only need a few days of basic training, which includes hands-on lessons. In about an hour, you will be transformed from an ordinary Earthling to someone ready for the experience of space travel. However, don't expect to be called an astronaut, as were the six women aboard the NS-31 flight. The training regimen includes a mix of theoretical instruction, hands-on demonstrations, and practical involvement in simulators. It's all about simplicity. One needs to focus on the essentials. You will receive full information about your journey, including what will happen during launch, the onset of weightlessness, and the capsule's slow return to Earth. In addition, there will be simple physical challenges to overcome. You will have to climb a seven-story launch tower in less than 90 seconds and traverse challenging terrain, all while enduring forces of up to 5.5 G. That's 5.5 times your body weight. Space is a serious business. In the closing exercise, you'll engage in five simulated scenarios, culminating in a comprehensive final assessment. The goal is to ensure that you're fully prepared regardless of whether things go perfectly or deviate from expectations. As for your luggage, are there any specific weight restrictions? You're allowed to bring up to three pounds of personal belongings. Consider bringing any photos, cherished mementos, or important artifacts you'd like to take with you on your cosmic expedition. One might consider presenting a dainty floral arrangement, reminiscent of the gesture Katy Perry made during her NS-31 flight. However, keep in mind that once the flight reaches suborbital status, it's advisable to not get too carried away taking photos. Take a moment to look out the window and enjoy the view. Failure to provide adequate evidence could lead to suspicions that your flight was a staged, CGI-created experience. SpaceX Crew Dragon represents more than just a recreational trip to space. It's a state-of-the-art spacecraft designed for challenging missions. Astronauts undergo extensive training, devoting thousands of hours at NASA Johnson Space Center, where they hone their skills in managing life support systems, navigating the Draco engines, performing docking procedures with the ISS, and operating touchscreens in case of unforeseen complications. In contrast, training for Crew Dragon is rigorous. Astronauts undergo simulations designed to replicate authentic scenarios, such as experiencing 3.5G acceleration, during launch or re-entering the atmosphere at 17,500 miles per hour. They undergo a series of physical, medical, and psychological assessments to acclimate to the isolation and stress inherent in space. Astronauts like Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, who recently returned from a nine-month stint on the ISS, exemplify the incredible resilience required to withstand such prolonged challenges. Some astronauts engage in extravehicular activities or conduct experiments, such as investigating the effects of microgravity on nanomaterials. Their training equips them to navigate, sustain, and survive in any situation. So when passengers on Blue Origin's NS-31 flight in April 2025 called themselves astronauts after just four minutes of weightlessness, it seemed a bit trivial. Throughout their 10-minute journey, they mostly expressed their joy through shouts and admiring the Earth through New Shepard's expansive windows. Ultimately, while New Shepard was an exciting, if brief, spaceflight experience, it pales in comparison to what Crew Dragon is capable of. Crew Dragon is more than just transportation. It is a spacecraft designed specifically for authentic spaceflight missions, where astronauts engage in intensive training to equip themselves for the demands of the cosmos. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next one, and thank you for your support.